May to me. Today might as well be Monday. I swear. Oh, there's my water. So here's the problem I'm having with work. Okay, so you ever watch The Office? You know, or not The Office, Office Space. You know, in the in Office Space, when he's like. Did you get the memo? And he has like seven different bosses coming to him and saying, did you get the memo? I'll be sure to get you that TPS report, blah, blah, blah. You know, remember that? So I have this one supervisor who will message me. Be like, you're out of adherence. You're supposed to be on the phone and blah, 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 blah. And it's been like two minutes, maybe a minute. Since... I was messaged and I'm like, and I just get the message and she, I'm like, oh yeah. So today, what happened today is I got a message in my, from my email, my Outlook email that I had a department meeting. I'm like, oh, okay. So then I get the information. I get not logged in, but it's just a video you're supposed to watch or whatever. So I put myself in HR and uh, HR meeting, which is what you're supposed to do. And then I start watching the video, right? Well, I get a message from one supervisor. She's like, oh, why are you in HR meeting? You don't have this on your schedule. And I'm like, yes, I do. And then I looked again, and it was last week. So I'm not really sure why the HR meeting was on my Outlook schedule for this week, but it wasn't last week. So I'm like, oh, I just see it's the wrong. I was looking at the wrong schedule. Sorry about that. I have logged back in. So then, a minute later, the other supervisor messages and is like, and tags me in Teams, like, oh, why are you out of adherence, or why are you not logged in, this is, you're not supposed to be in HR, prod, whatever, because you don't have the meeting, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I saw that, I'm logged back in now, okay, but you should be sticking to the schedule, I'm like, and then uh, I didn't message back because I would have been like, see previous message. Because I already replied, yeah, it was a mistake. I'm sorry, I made a mistake, you know. And then there was, um, somebody got a returned adjustment. And apparently I didn't do it right. I missed a part where it was supposed to actually go to a different department. And, which is weird because I've been told that because it was like not home infusion, place of service 11, place of service was not 12. Um, for home, it was 11. What am I doing? I need eggs. So anyway, we have some places in our online database, database that say if it's place of service 12, goes to home infusion. But if it's not, you're supposed to send it to the UCs. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm supposed to do it. But then... In another part, it says if it's, if it's, um, if it's a, uh, whatever, denial, it's supposed to go to home infusion. And, but this really confusing because why? Why should it go there when, um, this other place says UCs are supposed to do it? The other place says UCs are supposed to do it. And then one place says it's supposed to go to home infusion. So it's really confusing. Like, this is really contradictory. Place of service wasn't 12. It was 11. But it had a certain denial. So I guess if it's a certain denial, it's supposed to go to home infusion, even though the place of service isn't 12. It makes no sense, okay? I need to sweep. So anyways, um, it was really confusing. So I felt like I did a wrong thing. And that I'm not supposed to do fee reviews. That's what I was feeling. But that nobody said that. Nobody said that. People make mistakes. I made a mistake. I'm looking for my mug. mug. Must be in here. Anyway. People make mistakes. And I made a mistake. That doesn't mean I should just give up. Okay? People make mistakes. Where's my spirit? People make mistakes. I am human. I made a mistake. So, what I think is going to happen is somebody's going to tell Paul 
And Paul's going to message me with his fake attitude saying that he thinks I should probably hold off on fee reviews um, until you're properly trained is what he'll most likely say. And I'm like, and when's that going to happen, Paul? I've been a UC for over a year now, and nobody's trained us on fee reviews. Kathy was the one who did fee reviews, and she's retired now. So then it's on the rest of us to do the fee reviews. And how can I tra be trained on fee reviews when nobody is taking the time to do it? So it doesn't make any sense. And then when I asked for help, they were like, well, uh, we can't really train on fee reviews based on, you know, they're all different or whatever and depends on the situation. So I thought I was doing it right based on the fee review thing that Kathy actually sent to everybody. But apparently I'm not doing anything right. And now I feel like I've done everything wrong and I shouldn't do any work. But that's not the case at all because I'm just human and I make mistakes. Ugh. People should just leave me alone today, I swear. Pets just really make you feel a whole lot better. Hi, kitty Mew Mew. She doesn't like heights. She, I was holding her and she crawled up there. I'm not sure if she's trying to get down or what, but if she wants to stay up there, that's okay with me. She kind of freaks out when I do a little move. Oh. She got me on the arm. Can you see it? Where is it? I can't even see it now. You gonna stay there or you want me to take you down? I take you down. What? I don't even think you know what you want. I know she wants food. Her food dish is probably empty by now. Russ is bringing home food for her. And I hope he brings home food for us too because I don't feel like making anything up. Good evening. It is eight something, maybe nine o'clock. I just finished watching Till Death, which stars Megan Fox and some other people that I don't know. Um, Megan Fox is married to this person that she doesn't want to be married to anymore. And instead of being adults and talking to the, their husband and being like, this relationship isn't working anymore, she decided to have an affair on him. Well, he discovered the affair and this guy, the husband that she's married to is a, um, an, a attorney for the bad people. What is that? Prosecutor? No. Defendant? criminal guy anyway the wife was like abuse not abuse like um stabbed by this guy who actually the is it was the criminal that the husband is defending or was defending and so um the husband took her to the lake house and it was like dead of winter, whatever. So the lake is frozen over. Lots of snow. Anywho, um, it sets up this whole thing to be like, oh, I know that we haven't had, I know that our relationship has been going downhill and stuff like that. And then when she wakes up, I guess they have a, do a thing, you know, that married people do. And then um, she, when she wakes up, she's handcuffed to her husband and her husband's like, um, says something like, I know what you did or whatever. And then shoots himself in the head. So now the husband and the wife are handcuffed together. And she is having to drag the body around to try, see the battery, the phone, house phone didn't work. He put her cell phone in water, so what that phone didn't work. Um, he removed all sharp objects or anything that could be used to take her to undo the um, the handcuffs. So she has to drag her husband's body around. And the only clothing that he left her was her wedding dress. She took off his clothes and wore his clothes and dragged <clears throat> dragged him around on the wedding dress. But she didn't have any socks. She didn't have any shoes. 
Um, and it's winter, remember? So then the uh, lover that was that she was having an affair with came over because he said she texted her. I'm like, no, oh. she she didn't text him. The husband texted him, and then he came. He showed up. The boyfriend showed up, or whatever. But then the husband apparently hired the guy that he was um, got released on parole. The one that attacked the wife. He hired her, him to like get diamonds or something. And so from his safe, right? But you know, the husband's dead. How can he get the diamonds from the safe and the husband is dead? Well, the wife doesn't know the combination or anything. Or well, he does know the combination. She knows the combination, but she didn't know it was the combination. It was just the date of their wedding or date he proposed. Anywho, um, Lots of things happened. The murder guy and his brother were there. And she's basically try dragging the husband's body around trying to avoid the guy. And they end up killing the boy, the, not boyfriend, um, the guy she's having an affair with. He, he showed up, but some got into a kerfuffle with the, the murder guys and the murder guy killed the guy, killed the dude. And so he's dead, and then she takes his shoes because she's barefoot, you know, and so she needs something to walk around in. And so, anyway, she's trying her hardest to get away from the house because of uh, murders. And so she, there's a car, but the, the husband, like, siphoned the gas from the car, and so there wasn't, any, they couldn't get anywhere. And then she found gas in their boat. Um, and <clears throat> she put that in the gas tank of the car, but, <laughs> like, things happen where she couldn't back up because there were cars in the way, like, his car, um, the, the, the affair guy's car and the murder people's car was in the way, so she couldn't back out, so she decided to drive forward and straight through the garage um and they end up on the lake and lake is frozen right but she's going over and and the guy the murder guy is really trying really hard to um murder her because that's why she he ended up in prison in to begin with was because of her and so anyway He's trying to murder her. She, Megan Fox's character is running away, naturally, as one does when they're being chased by a murder guy. So they end up on the lake, and she's been stabbed in the leg, so she's, like, limpy and, and dragging her leg and whatever. And so on the, on the uh, lake, you can hear the sound of the ice breaking, you know, and then he stabs the ice, and then the ice breaks, and but he's he ended up being handcuffed to the husband. Um, she obviously got she got off. I'm skipping like a lot, but she got uh, she got uh, out off the husband and was able to like during one of their little battles or whatever. She was able to get the husband handcuffed to the murder guy. Anyway, um, they were on the lake and then the ice breaks and the, <clears throat> and the husband's body goes down and starts to drag the the murder guy with him, but he grabs um, her, grabs Megan Fox's character and starts dragging them down. And he happens to have a knife in his chest and she pulls out the knife and then stabs him in his eye. And he's like, bah! and he goes down and drowns and whatever. And she almost didn't make it out, but she ended up, you know, she couldn't find the real, the opening of where they originally fell. She had the knife in her hand. She was able to stab the ice and get out. So she's out, and in the background you hear sirens, and then that's it. She's laying on the ice, and, and that's all we see. The end, right? Yeah, that was it, I guess. I didn't, like, watch credits, because I don't think there was anything afterwards, and if there was, I didn't notice it. Anyway. <laughs> Excuse me. The movie was called Till Death. Um, I thought it was good. Um, I... I suck at explaining movies, but that's basically the gist of it. 
Um, if you think it sounds like something you might want to watch, then I, I would suggest it. I would go ahead and do that, you know. Um, in the meantime, I am going to go to bed. Uh, I'm just going to go lay in the bed and then eventually fall asleep at some point in my nighttime. And tomorrow should hopefully be a better day. So what is tomorrow? It's Wednesday. So I'll see you tomorrow. Have yourself a good night. Doodles. Ah, ah, ah.